Hey guys, what's up? This is Manas and uh, let us continue with our discussion on ellipse. In the previous tutorial, I told you about oblong method and how ellipses can be made with the help of that method. And this time around, we'll switch our attention towards this guy that is called concentric circles method. Alright, the problem is same uh, with major axis as 125 mm and minor axis as 75 mm. So we'll start by drawing the major and minor axis. So the major axis is going to be absolutely horizontal guys. So we're going to draw a horizontal line over here as 125 millimeters. All right. Now take the center of this line. It should be somewhere here. You see this 75 millimeter. So minor axis is going to start from here and above we need to go half of 75. That is going to be 37.5 and then down below from this point, this point over here. Okay. We need to again draw a line in the downward direction 37. 0.5. So that's our minor axis, this vertical line, and this is our horizontal axis. Now, guys, please remember, minor axis is always represented by point C T. You can change. So this is going to be a convention which I would be using in my upcoming lectures also, where this major axis, I'll be representing the major axis or the extreme points of major axis by A and by point P. Right? A, B, C, and D. That's it, guys. Now, the next thing to do is to make this so-called concentric circles. Now with O as center and C D as diameter, we're going to draw a circle. O as center and C D as diameter. You can see the circle, right? We're going to draw another circle outside this circle. And uh, the center is going to be again O, where the diameter, whereas the diameter is going to be A B in this occasion. All right. Now guys, you can see this. Uh, this line over here, I'm going to make this line, um, right? What you need to do is you need to divide this circle into 12 equal parts. Okay, guys, now let me tell you as to how you can divide this big circle into 12 equal parts. Now, right now, we're going to focus our attention towards this quarter circle. All right. You need to take a radius of this much amount that is OB that is going to be somewhere around 62.5 then B as center put an arc and then this point as center again put an arc somewhere here then that should divide this whole quarter into three equal parts with each quarter having 30 degrees each. I'll show you how okay with B as center we need to put an arc over here and the arc is going to be 62.5 you know. So that's the arc, exactly. Now again, we need to put an arc, guys. And uh, with this guy as the center, we will again put an arc. The length of this arc is again going to be 62.5. So this is the arc I was talking about. This is how you can actually divide a quarter circle into three equal parts. And this method can be applied towards this quarter, this quarter, and this quarter. And eventually, you're going to find this whole circle getting divided into 12 equal parts and it should look something like this well guys now you can see that we have divided the circle into 12 equal parts both of the circles uh, the division has taken place now the next thing to do is drawing lines okay now remember the funda this smaller circle we need to draw horizontal lines from this smaller circle and we need to draw vertical lines from this bigger circle all right so let us draw these vertical lines downwards um, let me let me make sure that the lines are absolutely vertical. All right. Down below. All right. Again, I need to draw a line. This is going to be upstairs. And this is going to be upstairs. Now, why I'm doing this? Why I'm drawing the lines in the downward direction over here? And why I'm drawing these lines in the upward direction? There is a basic idea behind this. You guys should know that we are drawing an ellipse and these are the extreme points of ellipse A, B, C and D. So the idea is to draw an ellipse. It should please watch the cursor this from A to D and from D in the upward direction to B. All right. And from B to C. The points of ellipse will be somewhere here, somewhere here. That's why we have moved downwards and these points and the points over here in this quarter of the ellipse will be somewhere here. That is why we are moving upwards. So this is the basic idea as to how ellipses are constructed with the help of concentric circles method. The same funda has to be applied uh, towards the left hand side of this particular construction also. All right. 
this uh, from here also we are going to have two vertical lines in the downward direction two vertical lines in the upward direction and finally after making this construction it should look something like this so the funda of preparing vertical lines is done and dusted the next thing to do is drawing horizontal lines now guys remember that horizontal lines are supposed to be drawn from the inner circle and towards the vertical line from the inner circle and towards the vertical line and that's where it meets the vertical line again we'll be drawing a horizontal line towards the already drawn vertical line and from this point to this point that's it again same stuff okay the same process has to be repeated in this section of the ellipse also and you need to draw a line the only difference being you need to move towards the left side or towards the side uh, in which there is the vertical line that's it again we need to draw a line from this point towards the left towards the vertical line so now you have it so these are the points suppose uh, the the points which will lie on the curve or the ellipse right and finally i'm going to join all these points with the help of a smooth curve and that smooth curve in fact is nothing but an ellipse right so this guys uh, it's it's a very popular method of drawing an ellipse and some people find this method to be easier than the oblong method and uh, what you call the arcs of circles method and this is exactly how the ellipse is going to look like right now after doing this you can actually give this ellipse certain dimensions um so this is what you call the major axis and this over here is the minor axis that's it guys that's done and this over here is what you call the concentric circles method for drawing an ellipse having a certain major axis and minor axis well that's all guys from my side and if you have any questions or queries you can uh, write it down below in the comment section and if and if you really like the video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up this is manas patnaik signing off i'll see you again in the next tutorial where we'll be discussing arcs of circle methods till then bye bye take care